Hello, and thank you for joining us for this short tutorial on how to set up radon monitoring and scheduling within your inspection support network. After logging in to your inspection support network, we're going to navigate to the blue bar and click on admin or administration. Navigate to user administration. In administration, we're going to assign which inspectors and or users will assist in radon related tasks. You'll see Joe Inspector is already assigned to radon and has that permission. Let's add Suzy Q to have the ability to drop off and pick up and assist in radon related functions. Click on actions and edit. And on the right hand side of the screen, we are going to check the box this user assists in radon related tasks. Once you're done, scroll to the bottom of the screen and hit save. The next step in setting up our radon drop off and pick up and scheduling is by adding our appointment types. Let's click on settings and office settings and our radon appointment types. I have already added two types of appointments in our radon appointment type section. A radon drop off before the inspection and typically this is going to be done two days before the inspection date and or time. I've also added a radon pickup at the time of the inspection. So if we drop off our canister two days before, we're going to pick up our canister at the time of the inspection. Let's add a couple more. Click on add radon appointment type. And maybe in this particular case, we're going to drop off our radon at the inspection. So this will be a radon drop off at the inspection. Zero minutes before the inspection date and time. And this is going to be a drop off. Click our blue add new button. Let's add an appointment type for our pickup. Click on the green add radon appointment type. This is going to be a radon pickup after the inspection. Zero minutes after the date and time of the inspection and this will be a pickup. Click on the blue add new to finish adding this radon appointment type. The next step in setting up our radon related functions is going to be by adding our radon equipment. Click on settings and office settings and navigate to radon equipment. If you own radon equipment that you need to track the drop off and pick up to make sure that all of your monitors are accounted for, you can enter them into this section and the inspection support network will help you track your equipment. Let's add a radon equipment. This will be radon 2. You can add a description here and the serial number you're going to add in this box. Once you're done, click the blue add button. Continue in this section by adding all of your radon monitors. When you're done, click on settings and office settings. The next step, we're going to click on radon settings. The calendar description template is going to be the information that appears on your calendar for your radon related drop off and pick up tasks. Underneath that, you can choose the appointment duration default that appears on your calendar. My suggestion is to change this to a one hour time slice. It may not take you one hour to drop off and pick up the equipment, but it is a lot easier to see on the calendar when you're trying to schedule appointments. When you're done making your changes, hit save settings. There's one final step in setting up our radon related tasks. Let's finish up by clicking on settings and office settings and navigating to customize order form. We're going to add the radon control to our order form. Click on customize order form 
and the green Add Section. Let's add a new section and title it Radon. Hit Save. Your new section is going to populate at the bottom of your list on the order form. I like to add this right behind our additional services or the inspection date and time. We're going to click on the three horizontal lines on the left and drag this up towards the top to add it where we would like it to be. I'm going to put it directly behind our date and time for the inspection. We're going to click on our pencil in the middle of the page to add the radon control. Click on our pencil, add a control. Our new control is at the bottom of the list and it's called radon. Let's continue with the same title, radon, and click the blue add control button. We're all set with setting up our radon tracking and monitoring feature in the Inspection Support Network. Let's take a look and see how this works when we're scheduling an inspection. I've added an order so we can take a look at how this is going to work when we're scheduling and how it will appear on our calendar. Up at the top, you'll see we can review our incomplete orders. Let's click here. On the left-hand side, we're going to click on the pencil to edit this order and add our radon drop-off and pickup. You'll see I've scheduled a standard residential inspection with radon testing. The inspector's date and time is February 3rd at 8 o'clock in the morning for the main inspection. Let's click on our radon tab to add our radon drop-off and pickup. We'll click on the blue Add Radon Appointment. Our drop is going to be two days before the inspection time. This is our default. The person responsible is going to be Suzy Q. Joe's not going to be able to be there. You could also click on Suzy Q's calendar to see if she has time available to do the drop off for the radon equipment. The system automatically realizes that two days before is going to be February 1st at 8 o'clock in the morning, but perhaps Susie can't get there until 9 a.m. Then we're going to choose the equipment that we're going to drop off. Let's use Radon 1 as it's available. When we're all done with our drop off scheduling, click the green Add button. Now let's schedule our pickup. Click on the blue Add Radon Appointment. We're going to hit our drop down and schedule our pickup at the time of the inspection. This time Joe is going to be able to do the pickup. The system automatically realizes that's going to be on February 3rd at 8 o'clock in the morning. And we can click our drop down for the equipment and the system will realize that we dropped Radon 1, so that's going to be the equipment that's available for pickup. When we're all done here, click the green Add button. Finish completing your order as normal. Populate all of the necessary fees. When you're all set, hit Review Order and complete this order to finish your scheduling process. Let's take a look at how this order looks on the calendar. Navigate to the top and click on View Calendar. This appointment was scheduled for February 3rd. You'll see Joe Inspector has his inspection scheduled for 8 a.m. on February 3rd. At 9 a.m. on February 1st, Suzy Q is going to drop off the radon equipment. And at 8 a.m. on February 3rd, Joe is going to be reminded to pick up the radon monitoring equipment. The calendar appointments that are on the schedule for Suzy Q and Joe will also appear in their nightly emails reminding them of the inspections to be completed for the day. You're all set with setting up your radon tracking and scheduling feature in the Inspection Support Network. If you have any further questions, don't forget to click on Help 
and visit the help site, or of course, a live chat with us anytime, Monday through Friday, during normal business hours, or call us at 800-700-8112. Thanks for joining us on this short tutorial on how to set up and start using your radon tracking and scheduling feature in your inspection support network.